Coventry United ladies are back following a COVID induced break and are raring to go once more in the FA Women's Championship. This afternoon's game sees the Red and Greens return to our nation's capital and after their last trip here, that sensational 3 2 win over Charlton a couple of weeks ago, the girls are liking the look of London. Can they dish out some more capital punishment this afternoon against Crystal Palace? Let's find out here on Coventry United TV with Liam Cook. Here's how Crystal Palace line up. Former Coventry United defenders Annabelle Johnson and Fionn Morgan line up against their former club today. The attack is led by Sherelle Castle with Katie Nakiel on the bench. Palace currently lie ninth in the FA Women's Championship standings, a position not befitting of the talent they possess within their squad. Coventry will be without the services of their number one and captain Sue Wood. The goalkeeper is unavailable due to illness, leaving the door open for Liv Clark to make her United debut between the sticks. With the skipper out, Helen Dermody takes the armband. She's joined up top by Shannon O'Brien, who makes her first start since the defeat to Liverpool in September. Beth Merrick and Katie Morris also come into the 11, following their super sub displays at Charlton at the expense of Becky Anderson and Phoebe Warner. Still Haynes waits. The referee checks that we're good to go. Now the whistle blows and Haynes can get to work. Towards that near post, Clark calls for it. And it's into her own net by Maz Gauntlet. Gauntlet consoled by her teammate Nikki Miles. A desperately unlucky situation for Gauntlet to find herself in. Clark called for it, it flew over her outstretched palms. Gunner unknowingly stumbling onto the loose ball and that loose ball ended up in the back of the net and just three minutes in at Hayes Lane Crystal Palace take the advantage in scrappy fashion the contract of rules stands in the way but they weren't required it floats into the empty seats Haynes has had a busy day with these dead ball situations. In the opening 17 minutes, plenty of free kicks and corners. United have barely been out of their own half. Palace at the moment on course for just their second win in the championship this season. So plenty of football to be played between now and the final whistle. We all know United have plenty of fight in them. Can Palace extend their advantage? Goal disallowed and rightly so as uh, Clark was bundled over the line. Weston. Acres of space for Merrick. Flicked off the head of Morgan. Gets it on the left-hand side by Beth Merrick. Annabelle Johnson heads out as far as Maz Gortlet into a sea of red, blue and green. And now the counter is on. Castle side by side with Georgia Popper. What a run this is by Castle. Tries to square it for Baptiste. Lunge in by Miles. Only as far as Stobbs who stabs it over. Clark. Flip back into the penalty area. Beth Merrick now has a go. Brought down safely by the hands of Chloe Morgan. And now Baptiste makes the run after the flick on. One on one with Clark. Crystal Palace double their advantage. Bianca Baptiste gives herself a uh, little round of applause there. Tidy finish from the Palace number 11. One on one with the United debutant Liv Clark. And Crystal Palace. have edged themselves away from their opposition on the score sheet. Gauntlet eyeing up her options. Looked it in at the far post is Nikki Miles. She called for it, she claimed it, she scored it. United are back on the right path. And it's no, su no surprise that it's the general 
who rallies Coventry United. Hughes in with a challenge. Hopper will late on Castle. Oh, and Castle. Castle could be in hot water here. It wasn't the cleanness of challenges, but the reaction from Castle. And the referee has got a decision to make now. There was a rather violent reaction and a yellow card. I'm not entirely sure that is a su sufficient punishment. Of course, it is the referee's decision. We have to respect it. Stars is cut out by Miles. That's with Baptiste. Baptiste cutting in. And stopped well with the gloves of Clark from Castle's effort. So Haley Crackle makes her way onto the field at the expense of Georgia Popple. First substitution of the afternoon. And the huge curls one towards the net. Bobbles towards Morgan, who brings it under control. So it's Weston with ball in hand. Dermot backs into the defender. And Hughes, Rutherford, refusing to let her by. Dermody taking on Wardy. That's for Weston, it's out to Maz Gauntlet, drills it. It was heading wide anyway, but uh, Morgan had to be sure. All outfield players in the United half. Palace looking to wrap up the three points with goal number three. Maxwell tries to clear, doesn't get the clear of contacts on it, and that is a beautiful hit from the substitute Nakiel. Palace have the breathing room they've sought in this second half in some style. We have a delightful volley. Kate Nakiel hit it hard and true. Nothing that Clark could do about that. As it flies into the net in style, Crystal Palace have a 3-1 advantage. Will she go for glory? Or look for a teammate in and around that penalty area? Either way, goal number four is on her mind. But not in the net. By Haynes. And across the penalty area by Dermody and up by Hassel. Colville. Nakiel. Unsuccessful on this occasion. Morris. Trips. Referee plays advantage. And Helen Dermody to half the deficit straight into the gloves of Morgan. Bones of Dermody cut out well. Baptiste, slide by Wilcox, unsuccessful. Wilson waiting in the centre. Quick thinking from Hassel to deny Wilson the opportunity. Shannon O'Brien, fancy footwork to open up the avenue. Squares for Weston, and Weston takes a punt. Had the power behind it for sure. And the referee brings today's proceedings to a close. Crystal Palace wrap up their second championship victory of the season. <sighs> Coventry United ladies unlucky at times, but heading home empty-handed. Thanks to the own goal from Maz Gauntlet, a strike from Baptiste and a second half worldie from Nakiel. Final score. Here at uh, Hayes Lane in the FA Women's Championship, Crystal Palace Women 3, Coventry United Ladies 1.